What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Tsunami surf on the spaces, man. Talking about a lot of things. Like I said, man, hope the brother getting his heart right. Hope he's getting his mind right. I need to address some of these things he talked about and what was said. And even though I know you're fighting the case and I know people trying to be supportive of you right now, but once again, these are the conversations that I have to address, bro. I still have to do my job and be in being battle true. So I want to talk about what they were talking about in faces. How they wanted to blame the battle rap community for misunderstanding them as battle rappers. So here's the battle rappers on faces blaming the battle rap community on misunderstanding them as battle rappers. Misconstruing the things they say and do. But we're going to address and talk about that. But I want y'all to listen and pay close attention to every word that's being said and how it's lined up to actually address people like you and I. And how they take no responsibility for themselves and how it, it, it just, it's just hypocrisy. It's just hypocrisy in no other way, okay? So, with that being said, let's listen at Surf, talk to Verb and Big T and them, and you know, let's look at the, listen to the situation. Check this out. If anybody could reach me, if I might have to pop up and it might be a book page or it might be a, I'm around. And that's just me being 1,000, my dog. No, keep going. It's not me, it's like, you, no, it, 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 go ahead and go. Go ahead and get I'm just keeping it 100 because it's like powerful, bro, powerful. Yeah, because what it is, on. is like, hold on, give me two seconds. What it is, is with this battle culture shit, right? People get our character and our job misconstrued with our reality and, and how much we with each other. Yeah. And, gr and granted, you had times where, all right, I ain't what verb, I'm not with Big T, I'm not for, we all just see what happened with Pat Speck. You had times where you not, but it's all still derived from battle rap. We ain't never seen a nigga and a nigga had on the wrong color or seen a nigga and a nigga was standing in the wrong block or the wrong direction. So people get this misconception that we don't with each other or even that we not humans and that we not real people and shit like that. Like, don't get my, my character confused with how many phone conversations I've had with Averb off the phone about what this culture could do or how many phone conversations I had with Big T about what Midnight Madness could do. And I think people get that misconstrued and, 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 and forget that somebody's a real person. Like, I, I've been going, I've been working for this place since I was 19, my nigga. You feel me? And you get caught up in this world where it's like, and especially me, y'all watch me grow up. It's one foot in, one foot out. But that one foot in can cost you an arm and a leg. Period. And that's reality. You feel me? Like, for all these years I've been battling, I've been trying to get niggas like the best. And then even when it's like, even the times like when I didn't give niggas the best, and you can understand, like, watch my career, watch my culture. Even when, I, I mean, watch the culture. Even when I didn't give niggas the best, oh, that little nigga got to go to jail tomorrow. Okay. I want to, I want to say something. I want to take it back just a little bit because I missed what I wanted to address. And here you go. I want to just go back a little bit. And I want y'all to pay attention to this part. This is the part I wanted to play. How you talking about how the culture can misconstrue their, the relationship that the battle rappers have with, with one another. And we, the culture, get it wrong. Listen. And a nigga was standing in the wrong block or the wrong direction. So people get this misconception that we don't with each other or even that we not humans and that we not real people and shit like that. Like, don't get my my character confused with how many phone conversations I've had with a verb off the phone. Right there. People get this. Get the, get We misconstrue the relationship the battle rappers have with each other that we don't think y'all F with each other. But we don't know y'all talk to each other behind the scenes on the phone. How do we get that wrong then? If that's the case, how do we get that wrong? When is y'all the ones online saying 
I don't F with him. I don't F with him neither. Remember A Bird? At Beasley. I don't F with none of these niggas. When they book me, I'm in a whole nother different hotel away from Ask them. Am I lying? Am I lying, Hustle? Am I lying, Yoshi? Am I lying, boss? Am I lying, y'all? At Beasley, he'll tell you. I don't mess with none of these dudes. Not none of these dudes. I know some dudes who be in man on man behavior. I know dudes who actually. Uh, 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 no, not to talk to me because they know they don't say nothing to me. None of these mother ever say nothing to me because they know I got dirt on all these niggas. I know these niggas, I actually seen them tongue kissing men. How we misconstrue that? Then, sir, on everything on neighborhood, I see you, I'm clapping you on everything. That's on my southern side, that's on the set, that's on this. I catch you, I'm doing it. Yeah, and then on my mama, he lied on this. How do we misconstrue words like that? Things like that. When y'all literally coming on air saying y'all don't mess with each other. And you putting it on your dead homies. You putting it on the set. You putting it on your family. You swearing to God. You saying act such and such to vouch for you and co-sign and witness what you saying about this other rapper. How we misconstrue this? How we get this wrong when y'all the one saying this? Y'all ain't coming out public saying y'all know what? This was just a joke. This was just a host. We didn't mean nothing that we said. This just battle rap. Because y'all all painting the picture and throw y'all real. And it's true. So how we the people get it wrong? How we get it wrong? How we miss it? Why we get the blame for y'all playing circus? Why, 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 we get, why we the ones don't get it because y'all clowning around with each other? But then why would y'all go that far to put it on everything y'all love to convince us how you feel about this other person is really real? Like, come on now. I get when bad things happen, it tends to draw people close together. And if certain situations gonna draw y'all close together to me and y'all relationship, that's a good thing to do, man, because brothers shouldn't be enemies. Brothers shouldn't hate each other. Brothers should come together. It's just sad that some things like this, death and things like this, sickness and incarceration and health problems have to come like this to bring brothers and sisters together. Only for them, give it a little time to go right back to what it was from the beginning because it was never genuine and real anyway. I wish we could settle our differences. I wish we could reconcile situations. I wish we could get it together and start helping each other and uh, 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 being uh, examples for our children and communities and learning how to own things and have things of our own as a people. I wish we could do that. But the reality of life is that's not true. That's not true. I, I, I want positive things to come out of surf situations. If surf can bring battle rap to a better relationship with each other as a result of his situation and his influence of people who love him and respect him and want to see better for him, and he can use that in a positive way to bring people together, that's a good thing and that's a hell of a good start. That's a hell of a good start on a road to redemption. I hope that is true. I hope everything he's saying is real and true. And you're not just saying it because you're in trouble right now. That you really mean what you say. And I hope the ones who say, like Virgin, you know, the back and forth they used to be having with each other, airing each other dirty laundry out. You know what I'm saying? Somehow they want us to believe none of that was real. It wasn't really true. But even if it was true, and y'all able to come together, have things out, settle y'all differences, like bygone be bygone, to become a brother, that's a good thing. I would rather make a friend than make an enemy. That is a good thing. And y'all grown men in y'all 30s, that, that's a good thing to be doing something like that. I'm all for it in no type of way. I'm And, 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 and no disrespect, I'm all for it. And I mean that in the realest thing I have ever said. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. If it's true. We'll see though. But one thing I can't let y'all do. I can't let y'all blame the people for what y'all put out there to be true. Y'all have fans that support y'all differently. 
Surf got diehard fans. Verb got diehard fans. If Verb say something to Surf, his diehard fans going to back him up. If Surf say something against Verb, his diehard fans going to back him up. So what you do is put the community at odds as a result of y'all being indifferent to one another. Now you got people in the comments arguing with each other. Surf fans and Verb fans arguing against each other because each one is trying to defend the honor of the one they support. Wake up, people. It's your boy, Battle Troop. If you name my job and ask a question, it's yours. Subscribe to Battle Troop.